Don't touch me. As open, Bozo. We're looking for a jetpack. A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Ah, uh, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Cool, so where's the jetpack? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Well, I was really kinda hoping we would get it right away. See you soon, bounty hunter. Eyes open, bozo. If it isn't the Puritan little angels who are too good for my beautiful alien cum. Just kidding, it's totally fine. No judgments. You're not the alien cum type. That's a very specific type, and it just ain't you. You're closed-minded. That's your type. It's not a bad thing. It just means you're too much of a coward to buy alien cum. No big deal. What, did you change your mind or something? Now you want alien cum? Suddenly? Out of the blue? You became an alien cum lover? You know? It was totally fine that you didn't want any. That wasn't a big deal. You don't have to change who you are just to impress me. I don't care if you want my alien come or not. Oof, okay. Look, you're really desperate, huh? I bet you were just embarrassed earlier when you said you didn't want any alien come. You really, really wanted it bad, but you were just too embarrassed to say, give me some of that classic alien come. Well, don't worry, pal. Stan's gonna help you out. Here, take a free sample or my gift to you. I won't tell anybody. Go nuts! You know, old people, we get horny. It's just part of life. We're not gonna stop having sex. We're not gonna stop being horny. That's all, that's my promise. Who does Clug think he is? But yeah, I've got wrinkly skin and I fuck all the time. I'm allowed! That's fine. So don't elect Clug Nugman. He's just trying to make me stop having sex. It's personal for him. Clug, Clug walked in on me and his daughter having really beautiful and energetic sex. More energetic than you'd expect from someone my age. And he came in and he said, no, 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 this can't be happening to me. Ah, ah. And he went on like that for a while. And then next, the next day he went on the news and he said he's going to stop the geriatrics from being so horny. Well, guess what, Clug Nugman? We're here, we're horny, and we're old. Get over it, fucker. Hey, hey, come over here. What's up? I gotta tell you something. What do you gotta tell me? No one followed you into the Arby's we're in, right? No, no one. Okay, Arby's has a brand new sandwich they want me to tell you about. What is it? Wait, you, you sound like you're copying my voice a little. If you, I'm with someone for a couple seconds, it just happens. You start copying their voice? Yeah. Well, that makes it very confusing, because commercials are usually designed to be heard from outside of the room, you know, so mm. it's just going to be confusing to know who's talking if you're doing my voice. Well, that's too bad. People should be smarter. Arby's. Meat sandwich. <laughs> Hi, I'm speaking on behalf of horny geriatrics everywhere. some uh, food hey welcome to Blordo's I'm Blordo you here for the food or the other stuff <laughs> what, what do you mean other stuff nothing 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 forget I said anything <laughs> no come on we're, we're good T tell us oh, 
Fine. I sell secret shit if you know what to ask for. But don't tell the cops. Now order something or leave. Sure thing. You got it. Good day to you, food customer. How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but it's on back order. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That, that's, that sounds like a good idea. So this is your bedroom, huh? It's fine. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really know what I was expecting, to be honest. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry. I, 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 I'm just I'm excited. I'll shut up. Let, let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to. Let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit, this rules! Damn, you're just like a Tony Hawk.com jetpack bro. Yeah, we're getting desperate for content. I mean, I'm not opposed to having sex. I mean, I like this before. I mean, yeah, you're way better than him. Okay, that's a it really doesn't seem like you're gonna think this is funny. You haven't laughed once this whole time. Oh, no, I'm not. Whoops. Uh, maybe let's try that again. Okay, remember you're condoning it. Check out that landing, goddamn! Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. I look at myself. I may make the world be I've been telling you to clean up. This place is a mess. I need you to clean it up before Tweet gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene, like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fuck more aliens than your brain could comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot though, right? It's a simple choice, just hurry up. This ain't a test. Wait, you haven't even met him. Why are you calling him gross? You know I've got a whole life going on here. While well, you're off having fun, doing whatever it is you do. No, you're right, her boyfriend's ugly. 
Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great. Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Jesus, make up your fucking... We're all living under the same roof. And that makes us family. And it makes her business my business. I'm the man of the house. So she needs to do what I say. And before anyone accuses me of being a misogynist, yeah, I know I'm a misogynist. We all know I'm a misogynist. That's bad. And I'm working on it. But this is about me being right and your sister being wrong. Listen to yourself. I can make my own decisions. I don't know why you think you're suddenly some father figure to me just because you're crashing on my couch and eating my diary. Oh yeah, I said eating. He's been eating pages out of my diary. So what? My species eats paper. It's delicious. Who gives a shit? I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off. Just grow up and get used to me and Twig. Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. What? Did you go deaf? Make a choice. Well, geez, I don't know why you're being so critical of me. I mean, I'm your own sister, and I'm the only human you've got left that's not getting smoked by giant space slugs. Wow, yeah, uh, she's right. Real cold of you. Just kidding, she's wrong and you made the right choice. Just clean up, Jean, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. And Jill came tumbling after. Carrie and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Carrie fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. At night, when the mask is on, I look at myself. I may make the world think I'm happy. But I can't hide the truth to myself. Whatever happens, I must go on acting, acting, acting. Be a polyarchola. <laughs> It's you, the savior. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's us. Uh, where is everyone? Oh, uh, it was awful. Everyone else got enslaved again, if you can believe it. Honestly, I think they like being enslaved. Oh shit. Okay, well, no guarantees we're gonna save them again. But wh wh where are they? They're working at Screndel Labs now, just past the Mushroom Valley here. Just be careful. That place is freaky. Thanks.
All right, time to put that jetpack to good use. Nice, we're really flying, huh? Really cool stuff, Bounty Hunter, like we're flying. Okay, this definitely must be the right way because, you know, we, 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 uh, we, we haven't gone this way yet, you know? Just stay on the ground for a bit. Why the hell we're in this acid? Got that mic. You do know this shit is toxic, right? interest you in my trip hole full of deadly launching discs? Hey, blast that pesky sucker!
to serve the G3. <laughs> I'm back! yourself. Where'd you go? Look, I'm just saying my glove shot might be helpful, you know? Toxic shit. Can we use that zip line to cross? So, uh, you know, what, what, 
what do you think Scrandal Labs is like? I mean, I, I, mean, like, I, I know a little bit. I mean, I, I, I heard a bit, so, so I kind of know. But I, I'm just making small talk right now. You know, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to fill the dead air. It's really uncomfortable. I mean, don't get mad at me if what I'm saying isn't that interesting, because you know, I'm, I'm doing my best here. You know. Hello, and welcome to Screnda Labs. Only authorized personnel are allowed beyond this point. You gotta be kidding oh, me. It's a bounty hunter who stepped up and took charge in the office and killed my boss, Krubus. Very unorthodox leadership style, but you got results. Anyway, sorry, I need to let the G3 know you're here. Just my job, nothing personal. Feel free to have some candy. <laughs> you're uh, gonna set off the alarm. Yep, I'm gonna set off the alarm. We've got an intruder. G3 are coming for you. Sorry, it's my job. And I don't care about you. Oh shit, here they come. You know, hey, at least the elevators are working now. Now let's take a look around this place, you know, let's see what kind of experiments they're doing here. I don't 
think we can get through here yet. This is our best human Fergal hybrid specimen. It may not be as cool as our subject in the weapons lab, but it's still rather beautiful, isn't it? We call it a fur man. Or, or maybe a hurdle. I don't, we haven't decided yet. Why am I telling you all this? You know, to be honest, it's because you look cool and a little bit badass, to be frank. It looks like a Fergal sitting on a dead human. Who's the scientist here? Me or you, huh? Get their shit together. What a mess. Hello, Johnson. It's Dr. Gergen. I've been asked to send you some of my findings on the human genome. It's only a small portion, and I doubt you'll even be able to comprehend what you're looking at. But I promised Garmantua so I'd provide them. And now please don't contact me again. I'm busy. This Dr. Gurgler guy creeps me out. Son of a bitch! Fuck! Ah! 